Welcome back, everybody. Researchers at Rutgers University are working on a new, faster test for the coronavirus, with results possible in just 45 minutes. Joining us right now via Skype is Dr. David Aland. He is the director of Rutgers Public Health, Re Health Research Institute. He's also the chief of infectious diseases at New Jersey Medical School, and he and his team are currently working with the new test that's been developed by Cepiod that was granted emergency approval from the FDA. Dr. Uh, Dr. Alon, thank you for being with us today. Thank you for having me. How does this new test work? Why is it so much faster? Most tests are um, big machines that need to be operated in big laboratories. Uh, you take the test to this machine. Um, there's a lot of fluidics and uh, automated parts uh, to get the test run. Um, it's complicated to set up. Um, and all of these tests can do a lot of tests uh, at, at once, these machines. Uh, the test that Cepheid developed uh, that we've been validating is uh, essentially taking the laboratory to the, to the uh, patient, uh, location of patient care. It's a plastic cartridge that has a lot of chambers in it and ways to move flu uh, fluids and reagents around, uh, and um, a machine that operates that. So the, these cartridges have everything in it to run the test. All you have to do is put in the sample, uh, put the sample in an instrument that runs it, uh, press a button, and the answer happens in, in, in less than 45 minutes. This is huge, and we've heard from so many people that the problem has been not only just waiting seven days for this, sometimes 10, 12 days, or even longer. To be able to get this and get it in 45 minutes, how many of these tests can you do at this point? So uh, I don't uh, work for the company. I, I don't think I'm able to comment on how fast these tests are, are coming out. Um, the machine that we have can uh, run, uh, the single machine that we have right now can run about 20 tests, uh, 20 tests an hour. Uh, there are instruments that are larger that can run up to 1,000 tests uh, an hour. Um, let me take that back, up to 1,000 tests a shift. Uh, and so, uh, you know, through up to maybe up to 3,000 tests a day. Uh, we would be at a slightly lower rate than that. Doctor... Can you speak uh, to uh, a competitive test? Uh, Abbott uh, announced over the weekend that it had a test that it could do, uh, would tell you whether you were positive, I believe, within uh, five minutes or six minutes, would tell you within 13 minutes that you were negative and that they can do 50,000 tests a day. How does that compare to what you're working on? Uh, I, I'm not familiar with the uh, information that you're, you're describing. The, the Abbott test that I'm familiar with takes a, a lot longer than that. So... Um, I think that that must be a different technology that, that uh, I haven't heard of yet, uh, or there may be, that may not be completely accurate. Uh, the problem with, uh, and it's not a problem, we need tests that, like the ones made by Abbott and Thermo Fisher and Roche that do a lot of tests at once. Um, there's a lot of testing that has to be done out, done out there, and that's really important. Uh, but these tests are all done at central facilities, and so there's issues about getting samples to those facilities, uh, having the queue uh, run up so that uh, the, the, pa the patients can be tested all at the same time and getting the results back. Um, the test we've been working at with Cephi, the, the beauty of it is, is that you can uh, put it in, in a doctor's office, uh, ultimately, or an emergency room, and we hope ultimately to have these tests uh, up, on, uh, up in vans, mobile vans, so we can go around testing that way. Uh, and since mm -hmm. the results are so fast, uh, you get actionable, inform actionable information that uh, we think will be very helpful with decisions about quarantine, hopefully about treatment, when treatments are available, and ultimately when we're trying to uh, eradicate uh, COVID-19 and we can get into, uh, uh, into where, the, where the patients live, um, that we'll be able to test people there uh, and uh, then test in a ring around them. Dr. Alon, I, I know several people personally who have gotten negative results that came back and then later they tested positive a few days later when they were tested again. Is that a problem with the testing? Is that just that it's impossible to pick up a positive reading when someone is just starting to come down with it? What, what, what happens in those scenarios? And is your test the same as all of these? So, you know, this, uh, this is a, a disease it, it, and, and it runs off of human biology and every person is different and the disease manifestations are different. Uh, most of the time, uh, patients will test positive when they are, are quite ill, but there's a range of, uh, of presentations for COVID-19, and some patients can be um, asymptomatic or have uh, not many symptoms, at least initially in presentation. Uh, as the disease progresses uh, and, and patients develop more virus, uh, uh, tests will become more positive. So there's range in presentation for, for the patients, but also the tests themselves have a range in sensitivity. 
Um, I, I, I really uh, am unable to comment because I don't have um, uh, the experience personally, but certainly these different tests have a range in how well they can detect the virus. I can tell you that the test that we've worked at with Cepheid is extremely sensitive. Uh, it can detect uh, um, essentially uh, one, uh, one genome of the virus and less, uh, and it can detect uh, really uh, very, very small amounts of virus. So depending on the test, you're going to have uh, tests that detect things earlier versus tests that detect disease later. And depending on the patient, you're going to present with a lot of virus earlier or later. But the key thing is to have tests that are very sensitive. And I would caution um, people. Uh, there are a number of tests that I've heard about um, coming out of um, uh, other countries that haven't been uh, validated by the, uh, by the FDA. Uh, and their performance may be really subpar. Uh, so it's uh, really important to get a, 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 a FDA validated test. Uh, and even there, the validations have been done very, very quickly. Uh, so uh, it's going to be a while before we can do head-to-head -head comparisons between tests and see which ones perform the best.